Today we start prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting is a unique thing for many of us because maybe we're not used to it. Maybe it's something that comes from a heritage we come from. Some people have practiced Lent before, so maybe they've given up certain specific things for time. And, and, and that is one way of fasting. That's one way over these 21 days you can fast. Maybe you want to give, you want to give up media, your social media, and you delete your social media apps for 21 days. Maybe it's, man, dare I say, your Netflix app for 21 days, <laughs> or Disney Plus, or streaming, or YouTube, or whatever it is that sucks up your life. And instead, you go and you focus on God with that time. Many, traditionally, the way is to fast a meal, and you, you replace that meal with the Word of God. And so that, that's what many people will be doing is actually doing blocks of time or maybe they're doing something like a Daniel fast where they're doing without something for a little while. It says this in Matthew 6, Jesus says, And when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces that their fasting may be seen by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face that your fasting may not be seen by others and that your Father who is in secret but by your father who's in secret, sorry. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. So this is sharing to us about how we're to fast, not being woe is me, not being, oh, I can't hear or do these things. That's a handsome man on the left there, huh? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> the guy on the right, got me beat. The idea is that we want to be those who, who fast and pray. We want to be those who, who or so go back to the scripture before. We could see this very thing as we, as we looked at the scripture that, we, that the Father in heaven would give, would give you what you need. That it's not about the clamor and the attention. I, I've seen it and it's a mistake. I think it's an honest mistake. But people are like on their social media, going to be fasting social media, won't see me for 21 days. You, you kind of killed it. And not in the killed, like, yeah, you killed it. Like, you, you, you're, you're not doing right. You got your reward. You know, you got your reward right there. Better to, to take a break, to step back if that's what you're going to do, and to focus on him, and then come back, find out what you've been missing or not missing, and just go after what God has for you. I know for some, they're actually going to fast 21 days. They're going to do water only, and they're going to, to really focus on, on, on not eating any food. And during those times of eating food uh, that they would normally eat food, they're going to instead spend their time in prayer and in reading their, the scripture because that is their spiritual food. Celeste brought up a good point. She heard from a speaker when she was in, in um, when she was at a camp that he talked about fasting from this perspective. He said, from the time that you gave your life to Christ, you've been building up your spirit, man. But in the same way, you're building up your body every day by eating food, your flesh. And so whenever you deny your flesh, you're starving your flesh from, from its food and your nutrient, your spirit is catching up. And I thought it was interesting. I thought that was an interesting perspective and way to think about it. Now, here's the thing. We're not twisting God's arm by fasting, right? It's, it's our hearing from him. He's always there speaking. It's us cutting the clutter out so we can hear from God. And so that's what it's about. But here's the thing. Be wary when you fast that you have the right reason for doing it. Now, we'll go to this picture of that dapper man on the right. That's my brother, Jeremy. And if you guys don't know Jeremy, uh, he's a great guy. He lives in Texas with his family. Uh, whenever we were kids, uh, my parents, they were going to be do, doing a large part of fast. We're doing it corporately as Cornerstone. And we, the kids, were going to be doing a fast for one day on a Monday. So we went home from church. After we had church service at night at that time. We went home. My mom, we did breakfast for dinner. How many people breakfast for dinner people? And so we had breakfast for dinner. She did all the things, man. And she used the cast iron skillets and did that sausage, did that bacon. If you, if you guys don't eat pork, I'm sorry for you. But she, she did the eggs and the things and the thanks be to God. <laughs> so we eat it, and it was like, all right, this is it. And for them, they were going on several days, but for us, we we're going to do one day. It was like a challenge. We're going to do this one day. Now, my brother, if you don't know my brother, uh, he doesn't have any body fat, like no body fat. Kids like... Turn sideways, iridescent. And so the thing is, he, man, in the morning, he, he didn't even really need to eat breakfast most of the time. But in the morning, first thing, he's like, oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm like, dude, you're fine, dude. You're fine. Well, we didn't know. But it come like mid-afternoon, man, he was feeling it heavy. And he was feeling it heavy. He walked over, and he, on the low, my mom, she, she had left the skillets out, and she washed the other dishes up, but hadn't dealt with the, the, the cast iron. They were busy, and she was out and about. 
And so as we got home from school and stuff, he gets over there and he's like, he goes and there's bacon grease that's in the pan. <laughs> and my brother, two finger, you know the deep swipe, not the little bit of cake swipe where you go, mmm, I'm a little taste. The double finger of bacon grease swipe. It was like, mmm, got that grease. <laughs> then immediately projectile vomited all over the place. I was telling people earlier, it was everywhere. It was like the spirit is everywhere. It was all over the place, man. <laughs> Obviously, he learned his lesson. Obviously, he's fasted as he got older, as an adult, several days, things like that. But the point was, what was the, fir- the, pur- the purpose? The purpose is to focus on God. If the purpose is not eating, you're just starving yourself. The, ha- the purpose has to be focusing on God.